Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be having a late night talk. Right now, this is going to be my first time using a mic for one of my videos. Pretty cool. Now I can do some ASMR. Just kidding, not today. But if you want ASMR videos, let me know. And if you're new here, don't forget to follow my socials and jewelry and thrift page. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so today's video, I'm going to be making and packaging some necklaces. And I'm going to add a little unboxing, but we'll get to that later. Alright, so now... I'm going to be making this rhinestone choker and I also want to make some longer ones because not everyone likes chokers so I'm going to be adding those but I do have one order and that's a rhinestone choker so that's what I'm going to be doing. I have this old Shein bag. My supplies are not actually from Shein. I just used the bag. Like I say in every packaging video all my things are from Amazon. I don't know if you can hear this ASMR. Although this rhinestone chain whoa is from alibaba all right and i'm gonna put you down so you can see all the supplies so the first thing i'm gonna be doing is measuring and so the chokers are usually like 15 inches at least and i'm just gonna go ahead and make some more i'll do like another choker and then i'll do a regular length which that one's like 18 inches all right, so the next thing I'm doing is using my my ends. I'm using these really small ones. They're called cup chain ends, specifically for rhinestones. They look like this. Since they're really tiny, you might not be able to see exactly what I'm doing. But if you want a in-depth how I do this, there'll be a link right here to the video that I explained exactly how to do it. And it'll be in the description if you want to check it out. I'm so tired. And now I'm going to do the next chain. Alright, and now I'm going to be using some jump rings. And these are darker than usual because I don't have silver ones right now. But this is the closest thing. They're just a little darker. But I'm not going to use the gold ones just because it looks like... It looks tarnished, basically. And I like to use about 10 to 12 just so it can be really adjustable. All right, now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay. Jump rings. So now I have to put one on the other side with a lobster claw. And I'm going to be using these little silver ones. Oh no! <laughs> and that's one necklace done. I'm going to be closing this one. And now I'm going to put the jump rings on the next one. Honestly, you know what would be so cool? A jewelry ASMR. Hold up. I'm gonna leave the microphone right here. I'm gonna see if you can hear anything that I'm doing really clearly like an ASMR. Now there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'm going to use one more for the other side. This is turning into an ASMR channel. I'm calling it right now. Alright, so this one's done too. And I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And so I actually don't have the, the things that the necklaces are going to be going in. Um, I'm going to get those tomorrow, including like a box. And just like the cardstock paper, so I can go ahead and cut them. Because I use cardstock for more simple necklaces and then a box for other ones. So I'm going to do that early tomorrow morning. And right now i just wanted to make them but i already have its casing and everything so it's ready to go i just need to put it on its paper and it's good to go <laughs> now i'm actually starting to get tired let's see if you can hear me drink okay so now is the perfect time to tell you about my new printer. 
So I already have the envelope in which the package is going to go to. And if you notice, the shipping label looks different because I got gifted a thermal label printer. It's so exciting. So now I have a printer, but it does only print labels. But I did unbox it earlier and now I'm going to play the clip. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Technically, this is past me talking to future me. Don't know if I'm gonna include this in the video, but I figured out how to use my new heat printer and I'm really excited about this. So what I got gifted today by my parents is this heat label printer. And I just unboxed it and I've been trying to learn like how to do all these things. It comes with a little guy. It really only showed like how to de-jam it, how to start it. But it never said anything on how to print things actually so i had to search it up and it came with this little flash drive so that's what i did and it like gave me gave me this thing to download but i don't think it actually did anything i think it just made me download a sample shipping label so i can like practice on printing that one out and it came with this this paper it was already in there i think this was just to practice but if you guys don't know what a heat label printer is it's a type of printer that doesn't use ink it uses heat so you don't have to buy ink for it and you can only print out stickers obviously this printed out not right but if it was right you can just take this off and it's a sticker so you can just put it on your packages and that'll be your shipping label and you don't have to cut and tape it like you would a regular printer you just take it off and stick it and these are a lot faster um this one i think prints 60 labels in a minute and you know regular print printers are a little longer plus you have to cut and tape everything so that would take a little more longer so with the flash drive when i downloaded the sample shipping label i tried to print it out but i don't know if it was because of the layout of the shipping label that it printed out like this so i was kind of confused and i was like trying to figure out the print settings and i was like oh my gosh so how do i almost like crop it because i don't know why but you can't really just a pdf file the way you download it stays like that even in the print settings so i don't even i don't even know how that works but these are my attempts and it's not a real address so i can show it and this was the closest that i got so after all these tries i decided to search up how to print specifically labels on a Mac because I thought I was doing something wrong but I found out that it was actually just the thing that I downloaded when I print out shipping labels I can choose the type of thing that I'm printing so when I searched up that question it said before you print out a shipping label you should change it to labels and specifically this was a 4x6 so I went to go test it out and I went to my shipping website it was pirateship.com and I just reprinted a label just a random one and it printed out perfectly so the issue wasn't even an issue it was just this company making me download a pdf that wasn't even meant for labels i guess is what i got from the situation but yeah now i'm proud of this right now and this is how the printer looks like this is where the papers come out of this is where they go in and it just like pulls it in pretty cool pretty compact but it does have to connect to my computer so it's not bluetooth but i think it works a lot easier that way all right and the shipping labels also came with the package oh so kind of got it wrong it's not a heat printer it's a thermal thermal printer so yeah these are the labels and this is the brand it also came with this label holder all right so my phone ran out of storage again i was talking about this um it does say in the pamphlet that it's optional but i haven't actually like put it together because honestly the printer itself like like this is totally fine so i don't think i need a holder so we're gonna see how it looks like looks like this there's no instructions on how to do it but there's a picture right here of this so and there's only like four pieces so i can i can like guess I wonder how this holds it though. Oh, oh, wait, wait. This in my head made sense. Oh, it's a folding paper storage. So for this, not for the printer. So I'm just going to keep these things in this box for now. What? It, li it literally says on the box, label holder. Who let me think it was the printer? Ooh. This is how it looks like with no sticker. 
Okay, and I think that's all I'm gonna say about this printer right now. And now I'm just gonna leave this thing charging. I don't know if you need to plug it in to use it. First of all, let's see if I can still turn it on when it's not charging. So it doesn't turn on when it's not plugged in. Now let's turn it on. Now it works. All right, and that's all I'm gonna say about this right now. Back to future me. Alright, so that'll be the end of the segment right here, and I'll finish with packaging tomorrow as soon as I can. And yeah, so let me know if you guys like this microphone thing. I've made like a few testing clips, testing the audio to this thing, and it's like I can't even really tell a difference if it works or not, and you can like hear what I'm saying, or like, I don't even know, because I do tend to like mumble my words sometimes, so I don't know if this works, I don't know if this makes it worse. So yeah, this will be the end of tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs> Good morning guys again um it is the next morning and i'm going to finish this packaging i'm going to be taking out the necklace so i'm going to be cutting up this cardstock paper right now also i forgot i'm not using the mic right now so um when i was looking back at the footage oh my gosh i was literally telling myself through the screen stop moving the mic because you could like hear like the little like things moving in the mic every single time i moved the mic i was like oh my gosh well now i know for next time but i hope it wasn't like too annoying but i do think the audio is pretty pretty good sounded pretty professional than this because this is like out loud and stuff but yeah i just need to cut a square so i'm gonna be using this square I have my supply bag and i'm going to be using tape and i'm basically just gonna tape this necklace to here and i taped the back so now it looks like this and i like adding these little stickers on the back i think it's so cute then i'm going to use tissue paper and just like wrap it Okay, so this is how the package looks like. It's just wrapped in tissue paper. I have a little sticker on the other side. Yeah, that's basically it. So it's in there. And then, now that that's done, it concludes this video. I know this video ended up being pretty long compared to all my other videos. You made it till the end. Thank you so much, and I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!